BrainWise presents Grade 1 Math Quiz B Part 2 Let's get those math brains warmed up. Easy questions first. Solve them mentally or grab a pen. Your choice. Let's go! Easy round. Question number one. What is the sum of 12 and 26 again? What is the sum of 12 and 26, A 26, B 28, C 38, D 36? The answer is C 38. Question number two. Which has the highest value? Again, which has the highest value? A. One one dollar coin. B. Three fifty cent coin. C. Five twenty five cent coin. D. Ten ten centavo coin. The answer is B. Three fifty cent coin. Question number three. What time is it when the shorthand is pointing to the three and the longhand is pointing to the 11? Again, what time is it when the shorthand is pointing to the three and the longhand is pointing to the 11? A, 355. B, 311. C, 1203. D, 1215. The answer is A, 355. Question number four. Which of these fractions is the biggest? Again, which of these fractions is the biggest? A, one half, B, one third, C, one quarter, D, one fifth, The answer is A, one half. Question number five. If today is Sunday, what day is it tomorrow? Again, if today is Sunday, what day is it tomorrow? A, Sunday. B, Tuesday. C, Monday. D, Saturday. The answer is C, Monday. Crush those easy ones. Awesome. Time to step it up. Think you can handle these? Average round. Question number one. What number is missing in the sequence? Again, what number is missing in the sequence? A. 6, B, 7, C, 8, D, 9. The answer is D, 9. Question number two. Anna has eight crayons. Liza gives her five more. But she lost two of the crayons. How many crayons does Anna have now? Again, Anna has eight crayons. Liza gives her five more. But she lost two of the crayons. How many crayons does Anna have now? A, 15. B, 12. C, 11. D, 1. Answer is C, 11.
Question number three. Which shape has five equal sides and five corners? Again. Which shape has five equal sides and five corners? A. Pentagon. B. Circle. C. Square. D. Hexagon. The answer is A, Pentagon. Question number four, which is greater, one-third or two-thirds, again? Which is greater, one-third or two-thirds? A, one-third, B, two-thirds, C, they are equal, Dindy neither. The answer is B, two-thirds. Question number five. Ben had 15 marbles. He lost eight marbles. How many marbles does he have left? Again. Ben had 15 marbles. He lost eight marbles. How many marbles does he have left? A, seven, B, 10, C, 11, D, 23. The answer is A, 7. Wow, you're on fire! But are you ready for the ultimate challenge? Only the bravest will conquer this. Let's go! Difficult round. Question number one. What is the next number in this pattern? Again, what is the next number in this pattern? A, 21, B, 25, C, 31, D, 35. The answer is C, 31. Question number two. There are 12 children on the playground. Seven more children come to play. Then, four children go home. How many children are left on the playground? Again, there are 12 children on the playground. Seven more children come to play. Then, four children go home. How many children are left on the playground? A, 8, B, 11, C, 15, D, 19. The answer is C, 15. Question number three. Which shape has more sides, a heptagon or a hexagon? Again. Which shape has more sides, a heptagon or a hexagon? A, heptagon. B, hexagon. C, they have the same number of sides.
The answer is A. Heptagon. Question number four. Arrange these fractions in descending order. Again, arrange these fractions in descending order. A. One half, one fifth, two thirds. B. One fifth, two thirds, one half. C. Two thirds, one half, one fifth. D. Two thirds, one fifth, one half. The answer is C, two-thirds, one-half, one-fifth. Question number five. Maria has 24 candies. She gave half of her candies to her friend and ate three of the candies. How many candies does Maria have left? Again, Maria has 24 candies. She gave half of her candies to her friend and ate three of the candies. How many candies does Maria have left? A, 12, B, 9, C, 15, D, 16. The answer is B, 9. That's a wrap. No matter your score, keep learning and growing. Share your score, challenge your friends, and let's spread the math love. Did you enjoy the quiz? What's your score? Comment it below. If you want more of these content, leave a like and share this with your friends. You may subscribe to the channel as well. Check out other videos from Brainwatch.